Captains on the field for Thomasville. You've got number four, that's A.J. Bogan. Number 63, J.J. Jackson. Number 35, Del Troy's Grimsley. And number 79, that's Simon Harper. They're all seniors for the Bearcats. Dontavius Brodenax. I want to say hello to the Brodenax family that may be watching tonight, or they may be here. R.J. Hamilton, also one of the captains. We've got Tevon Moore and Darion Smart. Those are the captains for tonight's game. They're at the middle of the field for the coin toss. There is the coin toss. Thomasville has won the coin toss. They are going to defer to the second half. So we're going to see Bainbridge get the ball here first tonight and watch this purple-clad Bearcat offense go on the field again directed by the junior backup quarterback, Cam Sanders. We really saw some good hard running last week by Keenan Phillips, junior running back. And he'll get most of the calls tonight. You'll also see Travia, uh, Travius Freeman, another junior, get a lot of the uh, carries on short yardage situations. With Thomasville, Coach DeLay has been using a two-quarterback system all season long. He used it a couple of weeks ago in the matchup with Thomas County Central, going with the junior Parker Beckham, and also going with the freshman Cam Hill. So we'll see if that strategy continues tonight for Coach Jonathan DeLay's Thomasville Bulldogs who are making their way onto the field from the south end of the end zone. And here come the Bearcats as well. It's high school football, Friday night, ITG next game of the week. And I hope you guys will kick back and enjoy it. Wade Dawkins asks, will there be a lounge game on here this year? Wade, funny you should ask. We will be bringing you lounge at East Coweta next Friday night from Sharpsburg. And, yes, we have already got permission for that game. Talked with Hap Hines, the AD at East Coweta earlier today. He said, Phil, no problems here. We'd love to have you. Come on up. Other games that we'll be bringing you this year include Buford Marietta. Be bringing you a couple of Buford games here in the uh, future. So we got some good ones lined up for you over the next few weeks here on, on ITG Next Game of the Week. So there you go, Wade Dawkins. Ah, oh, there's my buddy, Dr. Sonia Wright Smith, who is back watching. Dr. Sonia Smith, I'm so glad to have you on board. She and I chatted quite a bit last week. Big help. Tierra Battle. What's up, Tierra? And Tierra is right. Flow Sports doing the uh, Warner Robins Lee County game, or uh, Warner, uh, Lee County uh, Colquitt game, I should say. So they have the exclusive rights to that. We're glad to be here at Centennial Field as the kickoff. Going to go to the Upman for the Bearcats. And they are going to have pretty good field position, taking it over the 45. That was Dontavius Brodnax, the up man who caught the low line drive bouncing kick. And he brings it up to the 40. Now they're going to spot it right at the 45, it looks. So Bainbridge going to go with a first and 10 from their own 45. Sit back, enjoy tonight's stream, and let us hear from you all throughout the broadcast tonight. Here we go, Bainbridge clad in there all purple. Sanders is back there. He'll take the snap. Going to play action, throw. Got a man open out there across midfield. Going to take it into Thomasville territory and then some. Pass is complete to Ontavius Murphy, taking it all the way. 
to the Thomasville 30 yard line. That is a gain of 25 on the play. So a gain of 25 yards, taking it from their own 45 to the 30 of Thomasville. Here we go. First and 10 after a big game by the Cats. Handoff left side, not much. Tripped up there was Travius Freeman. David Barwick is watching. Ramon Thompson says, go dogs. All right, here we go, second and nine. Handoff, left side, not much. That was Ken Phillips who got the carry. He'll get a yard, and it's going to bring up third and eight. Well, what a beautiful rainbow that has appeared over the stadium. I don't know if our video can pick it up, but it is beautiful and bright. Love that as we see some sunshine peeking through. Love that. All right, here we go. Third and long for the Cats after getting two yards on the last two plays. Third and eight from the Bainbridge 28. And we've got whistles now. What do we got? Then we're going to have a either a false start or offsides. What do we got? <clears throat> we got an illegal substitution, I believe. Don't see an offside on the offense called a whole lot. But nevertheless, it's going to be a five-yard penalty on Bainbridge. So Bainbridge coming out with a big play on first down. And they've had two yards in two plays, and now a five-yard penalty is going to set them back. Going to make it now third and 13. They'll put it back over the 30 at the Thomasville 30 at the Thomasville 33. Two receivers near side, one on the far side for the Bearcats, clad in their all-home purple. Play action, pressure, and they're going to get him. Quarterback sack. Number 16 came rushing through. That's Jaden Austin, the senior linebacker for Thomasville. So Bainbridge comes out with a 35-yard pass play on first down. And after that, they struggle, and they go backwards, and now they're going to be in a fourth and Wiggum. And they got to punt it away here. Guys, one of my favorite players, Nickerson back there to receive this punt. And I'll tell you a little bit more about him as he comes up, makes the catch. Look out, boy, he's a fearless guy. Takes a big hit, but he's still standing. <laughs> it was Broadnax against number five, Beck Nicholson. Guys, let me tell you, Nicholson, not the biggest guy, but he was all over the field in that Thomas County Central loss. He did his part. That time he comes up. I was fully expecting him to make the fair catch on that punt, on that punt there as he had all kind of Bearcat traffic around him, but no, sir. Beck Nicholson, a senior. Little guy, but, man, he is fearless, as he showed right there. You'll bet we'll call his name a lot tonight, especially on the defense. Okay, so we're going to see Thomasville for the first time on offense tonight. They've got it first and 10. At their own 36, no score, just underway. Handoff left side, not much, except a swarming Bainbridge defense. Second down and 10. Now three receivers near side, one of the far side. And we've got penalties. Thomasville players are clapping. It's going to be all sides on Bainbridge. Javon Cox is watching. Second down and five. Second down and five now. Going to hand off, bringing it out across tackle, and nothing there except for a host of purple shirts. Nothing doing. So Thomasville with a couple of plays here, and they haven't been able to get much of anything. All right, here we go now. Third down. For 
the Bulldogs. Three receivers, far side, one on the near side. Quarterback going to take it, going to air it long downfield. Nothing doing. He overshot a receiver. That was Cam Hill, the freshman, who's getting the start here tonight. All right, so here's Thomasville now, going to have to punt it away. So they'll go out third and nothing there on their first offensive possession. Two runs for nothing and then an incomplete pass. So Thomasville going to have to punt it away here. High spiraling punt. Going to be taken and caught, and he'll go down right away at the 33. So we're going to have Bainbridge. First and 10 at their own 33 yard line. This will be their second possession of the night. All right, here we go, Bainbridge. Their second possession of the night, no score. 7.49 left to go in the first quarter. Running play and so far, both these teams really have got the other's rushing game figured out as neither team able to rush for much uh, at all. No gain on the play. Brings up second down and 10. Guys, we're seeing you and hearing your comments. See if we can get our technical difficulties worked out again. Here's Bainbridge now with a second down play. No gain on that first down. Second down. Quarterback tried to throw it, but he was hit right away as he threw it. That was Jaden Austin who came in there. He is wrecking havoc so far. So here we go now. Going to be a third down and 10. So Bainbridge sputtering here after their first play. There's another heavy rush. Pass complete for a short gain. Maybe got it to the line of scrimmage, and that's about it. So they'll give him a yard on that play. So Bainbridge, with the first play of the game, they hit a 35-yard pass. But since then, neither team able to do nothing. So here we go now. Bamber's going to have to punt it away. Nice punt. Boy, and there he is again. That's number five, Beck Nicholson, making a fearless catch. So going to bring up the second possession of the night for the Thomasville Bulldogs. They'll have it. Still no score. 627 left to go in the opening quarter. Sunshine starting to peer through the clouds here at Centennial Field in Bainbridge. That's good news. So right now on the field, no score. Thomasville comes out. Quick throw, complete. Little button hook, and there he goes up to the 50, across the 50. Got some running room over the 40, or rather the 45, taking it close to the 40. And that's Thomasville's biggest gain of the night easily so far. They just hit a little quick hook. And receiver tacked on about another 10 yards. Here's Thomasville, new set of downs in Bainbridge territory at the Bearcats 43. First and 10. Thomasville with a lot of movement here pre-snap. They'll bring a couple of receivers up here to the near side. And what do we got? I think we may have a timeout. Timeout for Thomasville. That'll give us a chance to tell you about 
Dr. Kevin Collins, Houston Sports Medicine. This is Houston Clinic's 73rd year in sports medicine. It's also Houston Clinic's 40th year of taking care of Valdosta State University. Houston Clinic, South Georgia offices, located in Thomasville, Tifton, Moultrie, and Valdosta. Dr. Kevin Collins was just recently recognized as the Georgia Athletic Training Association Physician of the Year. If you'd like more information on the different services Dr. Collins provides, visit his website, kevincollinsmd.com. That's kevincollinsmd.com. Long pass on that left side, going to go incomplete. Going to bring up a second down for Thomasville. Second down and 10. Ball on the Bearcats, 42. It'll be second down and 10 for Thomasville. Going to fake the jet sweep on a run option play. Going to take it and keep it for about a yard. So they went with Jaden Austin that time in the Wildcat. Bearcat fans, stop here and make some noise. It's Third down, nine we'll call it for Thomasville. Three receivers far side, one on the near side, and Thomasville looks back at the line judge. This may be a warning on the Bainbridge band. Let's see. I'm guessing that's what this is, but we'll see. They're looking up at the press box. All right, here we go. Not sure what that was, but they had a little conference with Coach Littleton, and we're back there ready to go now. Handoff left side. Got some running room. Going to be a couple of yards short of the first down. Taken down by Rodnex on the stop. Now let's see what Thomasville decides to do here. They're kind of in no man's land. Too far out for a field goal, too short to punt. They're going to go for it. Fourth and three. 436 and counting to go in the first. First fourth down attempt for either team. Going to hand off left side. He'll have the first down, I think. Let's see. Going to be really close. Depends on the spot. Taken down by Darion Smart. <laughs> in first down. It is a first down. So a first down for Thomasville. So here we go. Thomasville now on the run. Another on the march, rather. Another run left side. Not much. Maybe a yard. All right, here we go, Thomasville. Second down and eight. Gave him two yards on that last play. Under four minutes to go in the opening quarter. No score, but Thomasville with the first real threat of the night for either team. Handoff. Left side. Gain of three or four. 
Going to bring up a third and about five. All right, Thomasville going to go for it now on a fourth down. Snap, quick toss. I'm sorry, it wasn't fourth down, third down. Pass complete over here on the near side. Now we got fourth down. So Thomasville went for it on the last fourth down. They made it. They're going to go for, go for it again here, fourth and two at the Bainbridge 23. Thomasville, they've got the freshman, Cam Hill, in there at quarterback. He's going to take it, going to hand it. Running room right up the middle, first down and more. Big run right up the middle, first down. He caught a big hole. And now you're going to have Thomasville first and goal to go. Going to hand it Randall. Looking for running room. Going to take it to about the two. Handoff. Handoff. Randall again. Two yards gain on the play. Taking it close to the goal line here. It's going to be a ball's at the one yard line. So that was a one yard gain. Third down and a yard to go. It's goal to go, third and a yard. They're going to take it to Randall again. His knee's going to come down short. And I think his knee actually came down, depending on where they spotted. They'll spot it at the goal line or at the uh, line of scrimmage. So we're going to have a fourth and goal from the one. If I'm Thomasville, I go right back to the same play and run it again. Here we go. And you got the freshman in there, Cam Hill, barking signals. And Thomasville, well, is at Bainbridge going to take a timeout? We'll take a timeout here and we'll be right back. All right, here we go, guys. Going to be fourth down, coming out of the timeout. Fourth and goal from the one, Thomasville. A yard away from their first score, from any score of the night. 41 seconds to go in the first quarter. Here we go. Thomasville going to take the snap. They'll hand it to Randall right to the middle. He's going to be stopped. Stopped short. Bainbridge is going to stop him. At the goal line, that's a huge goal line stand for Bainbridge. So, Thomasville is stopped short of the goal line. They had four cracks at it, couldn't get it in. So now here's 
Bainbridge will take over. First and 10 from their own one yard line. So give the Cats, Bainbridge Bearcats defense credit here. They're gonna make the stop. And now they'll take over. Gotta watch out here though. Sanders is about three yards deep in his own end zone. Look out, safety. That should be a safety. They tackled him in the end zone. Are they? Looks like they may. They give him the goal line. Incredible. I don't. I guess they stopped his forward progress there, but it looked like they had him for a safety. The ball is literally the nose of the football is sitting on the goal line. Be interesting to see. I put Sanders up under center and let him do a quarterback sneak here just to try to get it out a little bit. But we'll have to wait and see what they decide to do as we have reached the end of quarter number one at Centennial Field in Bainbridge. No score. We'll take a second here to tell you about our friend, Dr. Kevin Collins, Houston Sports Medicine. Houston Clinic's 40th year of taking care of VSU and it's Houston Clinic's 73rd year in sports medicine. Dr. Kevin Collins was just recently recognized as the Georgia Athletic Training Association's Physician of the Year. Way to go, Dr. Collins. He's one of the best. And if you'd like to see the different services he offers and make an appointment, visit his website, kevincollinsmd.com. That's kevincollinsmd.com. Houston Clinic, South Georgia offices located near you, Thomasville, Tifton, Moultrie, and Valdosta. Look, Chris said that was a safety. It's, it certainly looked like it to me, but I got to tell you, I didn't think he, he was able to break the goal line. We normally say that when they're going into the end zone for a touchdown, but in that case, it was coming out of the end zone to try to avoid the safety. But Bainbridge still not out of the woods. They're going to have a second down. And again, as I mentioned just before the break, the nose of the football sits on the goal line. I've got my binoculars here. And the ball is just cannot go back any further. So here we go, quarter number two. You're watching the ITG next game of the week. ITG next game of the week, Thomasville, Bainbridge, no score as we get ready to start quarter number two. Bainbridge literally on their own goal line. Sanders going to take it, wants to throw. Looks, long bomb out here on this near side, nowhere close. Ball sailed on him, sailed about 10 yards behind the receiver and incomplete. Not a bad crowd assembling here at Centennial Field considering – the conditions, but it's looking stormy right now as Bainbridge in a dangerous situation here. They've got third and 10, and again, the ball, you can probably see it there with Mr. Cameraman zeroing in. The ball sits uh, literally on the own goal line, inside their own one. So what do you do here? Surely you're going to pass it. If I'm Thomasville, I bring the heat. They may be doing that. They're showing blitz. They're going to run it. A little bit of running room. Get away from one tackler. Ten-yard line. He'll have the first down. How about that? So, Bainbridge crossed him up there. Had it third and ten. They're going to get about 13 on the play, and that's going to be a Bainbridge first down. How about that? Chris Sellers, Mr. Phil Jones, you're in my hometown. Welcome to Bainbridge. The Port City, as they call it. I still can't figure that one out. But anyway, Bainbridge, new set of downs now. Run pass option is not going to be much of an option there. Quarterback sack. And I got to be honest with you guys, Jaden Austin has been – in the Bainbridge backfield as much as the Bainbridge backs have been back there. Jim Blair giving us an update, seven to six, Lee County over Coquit. Big game up there in Leesburg tonight. Here it's nothing to nothing. 
Second quarter just underway. Thomasville had a great scoring chance. They could not take advantage of there at the end of the first. Now, Bainbridge has got it deep in the shadow of their own goal line, but not as bad as they were. Play action. Throws. Far side. Complete. Going to get away from one would-be tackler. Now he'll be brought down by a shoelace tackle, but it's a nice gain out there to Antavius Murphy. Going to bring up third down. Seven needed for the first. So here's third down for the Bearcats. Sanders going to take it. Going to hand it off right side. There's the man I told you to watch out for. Beck Nicholson. What a player he is for Thomasville. Called his name uh, in the game a couple of weeks ago, and I told you earlier tonight, this young man is all over the field, and there he is making a first down saving tackle for Thomasville. I talked to Coach Jonathan DeLay about him. He just couldn't say enough good things about him. And now you're going to have Beck Nicholson back deep to return the punt. He's returned a couple of punts, fearless in doing so, standing at his own 45 to return this one. High snap. Nice punt. Wow. Nicholson going to take it. Nowhere to go. What a great punt that time. Great punt. Great coverage. All the way around. That was well done by the Bainbridge Bearcats. So we're going to see Thomasville now go back on offense. They'll have it first and 10, Will Thomasville. First and 10 at their own 42-yard line. No score. Both teams still looking for their first score of the night. We are scoreless. Nine minutes to go in the half. We've got some movement on the left side of the line. Going to be offside on Bainbridge. That'll give Thomasville five yards. So that's going to make it first and five now for the Bulldogs. Single receiver, far side, one here to this near side. Run play, right side, but great pursuit by the Bainbridge defense over there on that far side, and he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's about it. So here's Thomasville, second down, four. They'll say he gained a yard on that play, second and four. Receivers here to the near side, one on the far side. Offset eye. They'll take in hand at the first man through, looking for some running room. He'll bounce it outside, running laterally, but so is the Bainbridge defense. What a play over there by the Bearcats, number 15, Jace Weaver. What a play. Stuck with it, stuck with it, and wouldn't let the running back turn the corner. Mike Sorensen's watching. What's up, Mike? Michael Sorensen, big horse guy. Michael Baxter, watching. All right, here we go. Third down and three. Run pass option, they'll take, hand it. That's Randall that's gonna get it. He's gonna be a, a little short of the first down. We got penalty flag anyway. It's gonna be a hold on Thomasville. Tevin Akins is watching. Bobby Griner, Charles Harris, Michael Baxter. What's up, Mike? Chris Sellers. Yeah, I knew why they called. Are they still making those deliveries, though, via the river? I thought they stopped that. Via the barge. Wayman Martin. Brenda Shaw Peacock says, I'm watching. Thanks so much, guys. Keep those comments coming. We'll be chatting with you all night tonight. Quarterback going to crank it up and fire it across the middle. 
intercepted by Bainbridge. It's an interception. Bearcats trying to bring it back. Quarterback had to come up and make the tackle. That was number 10, James Jackson, the junior, making the interception for the Bainbridge Bearcats. There's John Brodnax. Been waiting for you guys, brother. <clears throat> Michael Sorensen says, just getting off work. Looks like a good one you got on your hands there. Yeah, it's a good one for sure. Thanks for cleaning up the video. Guys, y'all are welcome. We do our best. Really, a lot of this stuff beyond our control, to be honest with you. Just trying to catch on to that Wi-Fi. So here we go. High snap. Quarterback got all kind of running room on that left side. He'll take it for a nice gain of about five or six. They'll actually give him seven. Cam Sanders, he's the backup to Bo Smith. Out with a shoulder injury. He was out last week. He was on the sideline in a shoulder sling. I talked to the Bearcats coaches earlier. Probably, well, he'll definitely miss this one and probably next week. Bainbridge next week at Brooks. Sanders going to take it, going to hand it off. Not much except for a host of white shirts leading the tackle that time, number 20, Jeremiah Humbert. Willie Graham says, come on, Thomasville. Marcellus Lee is watching us tonight. Ben Sutcliffe. Jim Blair gives us an update. 14-7, Colquitt County in that game. Colquitt County leading Lee County. That's a humdinger there in Leesburg. What's the weather like up there? I heard it was raining. All right, here we go. Third down and short. Throws near sideline. Complete. And Tavius Murphy on the catch, and he made a nice juke move after the catch to avoid the tackler and get a couple of more yards. So now here comes Bainbridge marching it down the field. Got a good little drive going here. We're under six minutes to go in the half. No score. 552, 551, 550. Clock runs here in the second quarter. First down. Here come the Bearcats now up to the line. Love those all-purple uniforms. Hand off. Left tackle. Well, I'll tell you what, he made a little something out of nothing at all there. That was Travius Freeman, the junior fullback on the carry that time. So here's where we are now. The ball sits at Thomasville's 20-yard line. Second down, we'll call it eight needed for the first. We're right about five minutes to go in the half. No score, but here comes Bainbridge threatening. Sanders calls for the ball. Slight roll out to the right. Looks like he's going to keep it all the way, and he will. Takes a hard hit, but hangs on to the football down around the 15. So now we've got a third down situation come up. It'll be third and short. We'll call it third and about three needed for the first. So you got to figure here, Bainbridge is in four down territory. Here's Bainbridge now. Third down, they say it's two needed. We'll call it two and a half. Sanders calls for the ball. He's got it, going to give it to the back. And he's stuffed right away. He'll loom forward. But that's only to get it back to the line of scrimmage. Well, both of these teams, for the most part, is finding their rushing game tough sledding so far. We're zero to zero. ITG next game of the week. So Bainbridge is going to reach for a long field goal here. The hold will come at the 22, 32 yard field goal attempt. Here's the hole. 
Kick is on its way. The kick is good. He nailed it. So Bainbridge is going to get a long 32-yard field goal with 332 left in the half. Your score, Bainbridge, three. Thomasville, nothing. That'll give us a chance to tell you about our sponsor, Dr. Kevin Collins, Houston Sports Medicine, Houston Clinic's 73rd year in sports medicine. This is also Houston Clinic's 40th year of taking care of Valdosta State University. Boy, what a great long relationship they've had with the Blazers. If you're in South Georgia, they've got offices, does the Houston Clinic, and Thomasville, Tifton, Moultrie, and Valdosta. And we are proud to tell you that Dr. Kevin Collins just recently recognized as the Georgia Athletic Training Association Physician of the Year. If you'd like more information on the different services Dr. Collins provides, let's face it, we're all getting a little older, and and if you're younger, you may have something ailing you. And anything in the way of orthopedic, Dr. Collins can take care of you. If you'd like to take a look at the uh, services he offers, go to his website, kevincollinsmd.com. That's kevincollinsmd.com. We appreciate Dr. Kevin Collins, Houston Sports Medicine. All right, so we are in now a 3 nothing game. After the 32-yard field goal has put Bainbridge on the board first here tonight. Here's the kick, going to sail into and out of the end zone for a touchback. So nice job by Nicholas Tyre, both kicking the field goal and with the kickoff. Again, 332 left in the half. And we are three to nothing. Thomasville had it. At the Bainbridge one, wasn't able to connect. They went for it, and they've got the ball back now. First and 10 at their own 20. Handoff, going to take it for about five yards. Be second and five. Jeff Dasher gives us an update. Thomas County, 28-3 over Childs. That's five minutes left in the half. Pete Wilson watching tonight. Guy Crawford. Michael Sorensen says, uh, or asks, Phil, is this a region game for these teams? No, two different regions. Bainbridge won 4A, Thomasville won AAA. Thomasville moving up from AA last year. Bainbridge State in 4A. They had major reclassification this offseason. We had teams moving around all over the place. That include Thomasville going from double A. Remember, Thomasville played for the state championship last year. And it came up a little bit short. Bainbridge State champions back in, what was it, 2018? A little quick slant, complete. That's a nice looking throw. So what has been a two quarterback system for Coach Jonathan Delay this season tonight, he's decided to go with the freshman, Cam Hill, the whole way. I don't know if that's an injury to Parker Beckham or what, but don't want to speculate on that. But so far the freshman has gone the entire way and he looked good on that route and that throw. Going to hand it off right side to the fullback, and he'll have maybe a couple. John Broad next, 2018 champs. That's right. Zane Touchton is watching. What's up, Zane? Parker Folson. Sheila Dalton-Smith watching. Guys, thanks so much. It's Jaden Austin that time getting the carry. We've been calling his name a lot on defense. That time he tried to go the offensive route, nothing doing. So now you're 119, 118, 117 late in the first half. It's going to be third down and nine for Thomasville. They're at their own 36. Snap. Sanders looks or he'll looks rather, long throw. 
almost intercepted, incomplete. It was mano a mano down there battling for it. Chris Seller says, Mr. Phil, if it does rain, at least you'll stay dry. Amen to that, brother. We're now 14 all in Lee County. Boy, you knew that was going to be a battle, didn't you? All right, so now Thomasville, fourth down. You're under a minute to go. you got to punt this thing away. What do we got? Oh, we have, they call pass interference on that play? Oh, boy. Jeff Littleton is hot. I mean, he I can hear him all the way up here. And he wants a timeout. He wants to talk to the white hat. He's demanding the crew chief come over and talk to him. Littleton is out of the numbers, motion for the crew chief. I want to talk to you. So we've got a timeout. We're going to keep it right here. I got to be honest with you, I was looking at the play through the binoculars. I didn't see a flag thrown, but obviously there was a pass interference called. But, man, I got to tell you guys, that's a tough call. And I think Jeff Littleton thought so as well. He wants to talk to the crew chief, and they're having a conversation right around the numbers. Yeah, Michael, I agree. Michael Sorensen said, man, it was really late. It was, wasn't it? Roger Burks is watching. Patrick Preston said, coach is lit. Bryson Young is watching. Eugene Brooks. Kay Hoskins Hutto. Says, okay, Bearcats, show these boys what you got. Hashtag Bearcat for life. So, Stephen Wynn tells us that Usmani Kroma having a monster game against Colquitt County. Not really a surprise there. I guess you can say that. Really, anybody having a monster game against the Mighty Pack. But, boy, Kroma, we have watched him since he was in the eighth grade, guys. Fabrizio had told us he was going to be one to watch, and he has been so far. All right, we are three to nothing here, 56 seconds left. Thomasville, with a questionable pass interference call, they've got a new set of downs right over midfield. Now let's see if they can take advantage of that. So first and 10, we're just under a minute to go in the opening half with Bainbridge clinging to a 3-0 lead in what has been a defensive battle here at Centennial. Hill going to take and hand off, and there's nothing there except a purple-clad number 22, Darion Smart. Thomasville, not a bad crowd across the way, considering the conditions. We started out with some light rain. It has kind of been on and off for the rest of the night. Let's hope it holds off. Hope you're dry wherever you are. Clock's running, 25, 24, 23, passing situation. Deep drop. Now he's going to be run out of the pocket. Going to launch it across the middle. Incomplete. That's going to stop the clock. 17 seconds left. ITG next game of the week. Next week takes us to East Coweta, where we'll bring you a couple of 7A teams that are doing really well right now. Lowndes is off tonight. East Coweta taking on Sandy Creek. But we'll be bringing you that game next week. Here, though, we are in southwest Georgia, Bainbridge, the site of tonight's game. Heavy rush. They're setting up the screen. And, boy, Bainbridge read it nicely. They were setting up the middle screen, but Tevon Moore was not fooled at all. He came up, read it, and made the tackle right away. And the clock will run out. That's it. Now, wait a minute. We've got referees are calling Thomasville back. The clock shows all zeros. But they're calling the Thomasville Bulldogs back. Thomasville was on its way to the locker room. I guess they took a timeout, so we're going to get one second put back on the clock. We'll probably see Thomasville... 
heave a Hail Mary to the end zone with one second left. Reva Doctor is watching. William Graham checking us out. Chris Sellers, there was a timeout. Apparently there was. Jessica Stuckey is watching tonight. What's up, Jessica? Eric Vaughn. Von Terrell Frederick, Bulldog checking in. What's up? Thanks so much for all the uh, the comments coming across, guys. Love it. You are watching the IT Jignex Game of the Week. We try to bring you the best in high school football across the state. Next week, we go to Sharpsburg to bring you East Coweta hosting the Lowndes High Vikings, who are off tonight. If you're a Lowndes fan watching us tonight, let us hear from you, or wherever you are at, let us hear from you. Will Lott is watching us tonight. All right, one second left. Ball right at midfield. Let's see if Thomasville throws the Hail Mary. They got a stack of receivers over there on the far side. Going to rip it long downfield. Thomasville almost came down with it. Jump ball down there. Incomplete. And that will bring us to the end of the first half. With your score, the Bainbridge Bearcats, three. Thomasville Bulldogs nothing. You're watching the ITG Next Game of the Week. Brought to you again by Houston Sports Medicine and Dr. Kevin Collins. The only score of the game, a 32-yard field goal from Nicholas Tyre, the junior. He hit it from 32 yards at 332 of the second quarter. And that's been the only scoring we've had tonight. Thomasville at a first down at the one-yard line, couldn't get it in. Bainbridge defense really standing up tall and made a good stop. Both these teams have shown flashes of brilliance here tonight at times, but right now it's the Bainbridge Bearcats at the half, leading it three to nothing. Phil Jones with you. We got my man Chris Fletcher on the camera as always tonight. ITG next game of the week brought to you by Houston Sports Medicine and Dr. Kevin Collins. Dr. Kevin Collins just recently recognized as the Georgia Athletic Training Association Physician of the Year. Congratulations. Visit his website, kevincollinsmd.com. Here we go. End over end kick. Taking at the one. 10, 15, and going to be brought down right there. And that's where the Bulldogs will put it in play. To start the second half. Market at about the 16-yard line. How about Valdosta with a big lead over Warner Robbins? 19 to nothing at the half. I'll be the first one to raise my hand and say I didn't see that coming. Cook up on clinch 21-7. Last thing I heard was Lee County Colquitt 14-14. You guys give me updates on these scores. And keep the comments coming as we get ready to start. Quarter number three. Hand off right up the middle. That's number 25, Elijah Bavard. Getting the carry. I'm going to bring up second down for Thomasville. Oh, just over the 20, about the 21-yard line. Little end around flip. Got some running room over there. Look out. Going down that far sideline. Can anybody catch him? He's got one man to beat. I think it's a touchdown. DJ Thurman. D.J. Thurman just took it, 79 yards. So a 79-yard touchdown run to make it a 7-6, or I'm sorry, a 6-3 game. 
Thomasville now has the lead. Well, what a creative play call that was. On a little reverse end around. Here's the after point after attempt coming up. It's up. It's good. 11.09. Thomasville just struck with by far the biggest offensive play of the night for either team. 79 yard touchdown run on an end around. DJ Thurman, he's the senior wide receiver. And he just took it to the house. I tell you, you, you thought a couple of the Bearcats had the angle on him. It looked like Jace Weaver was going to get him, but could not make the tackle. So how about that, guys? Electric play to open up the second half. And suddenly we've got ourselves a brand new ball game. It's Thomasville now on top, seven to three. What a play. Wow. Just electric. What you guys think about that? Jamani Bryant says that's how you do it, DJ. Let's go, dogs. Kickoff now. Line drive kick. Take him back there inside the five. Look out, he's got a head of steam. Does the return man take it to the 30? That's Antavius Murphy, the junior, on a nice return. Delia Mendoza's watching us. John Everett. Arthur Graham is watching us. Jerome Brown watching us on a 7-3 game. Thomasville with the lead on an electrifying 79-yard touchdown run to take the lead. So now here comes Bainbridge. So this will be their first offensive possession of the second half. They had the only score in the first half. Now they're going to try to get back in this thing. Quick toss, complete. Look out. Nice catch and run after the catch that time by number 23, Darius Mills, the junior. Boy, Bainbridge is just loaded with juniors. That's going to move the chains. I would expect to see Bainbridge maybe try to run a little bit more of those quick hitters. Just two-step drop and get the ball out. Let's see if they continue to go to that. Yes, they will. Short game, but again, wouldn't be surprised, as I just mentioned, to see Bainbridge continue to go to that. Trying to avoid and negate the big pass rush by Thomasville, who's been getting pretty good penetration tonight on both pass and run defense. Second down after the six-yard gain. It's second and four for the Bearcats. Sanders, quick drop. Going to throw it long downfield. He's going to overshoot a man. We saw that happen a lot last week against Thomas County Central. Just not able to connect on the timing route, and that's another case. Overthrew the receiver. Incomplete. David Banks is watching. A.B. Brown says, Phil, we're in the parking lot grilling. You got to love that. Love it, A.B. Bring me some of them pork chops, man, or ribs or whatever y'all got. A.B. Yolanda Neal is watching. Here we go. Third down, just underway, second half. Third and four. Sanders, quick drop, throws. Oh, boy. Almost picked. Oh, my goodness. A.J. Bogan was licking his chops. He broke in front of that little slant. Thought he was going to take it to the house, but it goes for naught, as does the Bainbridge offensive possession here. They'll have to kick it away. Tire going to punt it away. Beck Nicholson, the fearless one, is back there. He'll let this one go over his head, though. And Bainbridge is going to down it. Looks like inside the five. 
Looks like they're going to put it down at about the four-yard line. So we're going to see Thomasville now start deep in their own territory. Great ball game here, guys. Really a good football game. Seven to three, Thomasville leads it. Give the dogs credit. They did not look too good in their first two games, <clears throat> losing 42 to seven and 31 to nothing successfully to Brooks County and Thomas County Central. But they bounced back last week with a win over Cairo, 36-27, and right now they lead it seven to three. Bainbridge lost a tough one, and you got to open up against Cedar Grove. Ah, yikes! And that was really at the last minute too. When both these teams, Cedar Grove and Bambers, that is, had South Florida teams cancel on them at the last minute. We got a false start on Thomasville. We're going to mark that one off half the distance to the goal. So they'll go from the four to the two. So Thomasville back on their own two now. Got to be careful here. They're going to run it out, try to run it out of there. Running back, going to score it up to about the six. So he'll give them a little bit of breathing room, and he'll pick up four yards on the process or in the process. Three yards gained on the play. <laughs> P.J. Mazzilli III is watching, as is Randy Smith. Frederick Mills, hashtag Bulldog Pride. Charlene Wells Hopkins watching tonight. Thanks so much, guys. Oh, busted play for Thomasville. You could see that Cam Hill wanted to give it to a back who was not there. He was going to stick it in the gut of a would-be ball carrier to his left. No one was there. So he had to turn and run it opposite the where he had it and not able to get much of anything. So now it's going to be third down. Ball sits at Thomasville's own seven-yard line. Third down. Going to take, throw it, right in and out of the hands. Nicely thrown ball. And it's incomplete. So it's going to bring up fourth down. Cam Hill made a good throw. DJ Thurman not able to hang on to it. But it was Thurman's 79-yard touchdown run on the last possession that has given Thomasville the 7-3 lead. Now watch out here. You've got Thomasville. Punter is standing about halfway in his own end zone here. Let's see if Bainbridge tries to come after him and block it. Here's the snap. Nice kick to get it out of there. Going to be a short punt. And the fair catch is going to be called for and taken at about the 33-34. And so Bainbridge is going to have great field position at the Thomasville 34-yard line. Andrew Bennett did a just did a good job of getting it out of there. Tony Herring is watching. Will Lewis, Scott Posey. What's up, Scott? Go Irwin and Fitzgerald, I hear you. Central is leading 35 to three. Yellow Jackets looking good so far in the early going. All right, here we go. Our second consecutive week of bringing you Bainbridge Bearcat football. Play action. Gonna sail it long downfield. Complete. And it's a touchdown. So the Bearcats come right back from 33 yards out. And it's a 33-yard touchdown pass from Cam Sanders to Antavius Murphy. 
Here's the snap, and the point after attempt is up. It's good. So at 8.32 of the third quarter, your score has Bainbridge now back on top, 10-7. I'll give, you, give us a chance to tell you about our sponsor tonight, Dr. Kevin Collins, Houston Sports Medicine. There is a Houston Clinic office located near you. Houston Clinic, South Georgia offices located in Thomasville, Tifton, Moultrie, and Valdosta. And this is Houston Clinic's 73rd year in sports medicine. It's their 40th year of taking care of Valdosta State University. Dr. Kevin Collins was just recently recognized as the Georgia Athletic Training Association Physician of the Year. And if you'd like more information on Dr. Kevin Collins and the services he provides, go to his website, kevincollinsmd.com. That's kevincollinsmd.com. Dr. Kevin Collins sponsoring several of our games this year, our RTG Next Games of the Week. And we do appreciate Dr. Kevin Collins. Great doctor. I have actually seen him myself. Went in with a bad knee, came out with a great feeling knee. He can take care of you too. Kick return, taken out to the 20. Antoine Hill tells us that A.J. Hill has five touchdowns tonight for Houston County. That young man is something else. By the way, guys, I do want to put out the message to you guys to please send me all of your top performers that you see in action around the state tonight. You can send it to me here. ITG next. We'll get it. Handoff. Look out! Running room. The ball came out, but he's gonna, they're going to spot him down. Thomasville. Now they're saying, let's get up, let's go. Yeah, I'm looking at the replay. He was down that time. That was number 34, E.J. Bean on the carry. Another handoff. Bean going to get it again. They're giving it to the muscle man now, and he's doing some pretty good running. Going to go for about five. Going to take it up to about the 44-yard line, second down. So Thomasville with a couple of runs, nice-looking runs. We've got whistles. What do we got? Play clock had to be restarted. Second down and six. And we are going to have an offsides on the Bainbridge Bearcats. That's going to mark off five yards. That'll give it to them the easy way there. So that's going to make it second and a yard. Now they'll mark it first down, first and 10. And what do we got? Getting a little sloppy here now. Now this one going against Thomasville. So they give it and they take it away. Jeff Dasher says, make that 42-5. Thomas County Central over Childs out of Florida. Still a lot of time left in the third. I'm sure that's under a running clock there. Trinity Alexis is watching. Snap. Quick throw. I think it's intercepted. I think Bainbridge has intercepted it. I think now they're going to call it incomplete. I'm going to look at the replay here. I've got the advantage of replay. I'm going to check this out. Really hard to tell, guys. Really hard to tell for me. Doesn't matter what we think. It's called incomplete. Going to be second down. 
15, 6.51 to go in the third, with Bainbridge leaving at 10 to 7. And off right side, not much there. That's Jay Randall on the carry, making the tackle for Bainbridge. I, need you to stop your feet and I believe that was Shyam Lowe, the big freshman. All right, so here's Thomasville now. Thomasville with a third down. Third down and 15, 620. 619, 618 left to go. Hill calls for it. Quick drop. Looks. Looks. Now he's going to be chased back and he's going to just throw it away. They had chased him way back deep in the pocket and he had no choice but to get rid of it. Devon Smart on the coverage for the Bearcats. So Bainbridge has held Thomasville and is going to force a punting situation here. Waylon Polk checking in from St. Louis, Missouri. Waylon, you're a traveling guy, aren't you? All right, so here we go now. Thomasville going to be punting this one away. Here's a low snap. It's blocked! Bainbridge has blocked the punt. Andrew Bennett's punt was blocked. Going to see if we can get the number of who got there. I think it was number nine. No, it couldn't have been. <laughs> it couldn't have been Bo Smith. And Tavius Harris, maybe? It was either number eight or nine, and we know number nine is Bo Smith. But nevertheless, it's a block punt. And now Bainbridge with a 10 to 7 lead. They've got a chance now to really do some damage here. As they'll take over first and 10 at the Thomasville 25. Baker calls for it, wants to throw, looks, looks. Going to throw it long, overshot his receiver. He had him open. We've talked about that timing issue the youngster is having, trying to connect on his passes, and missed him there. We saw that happen two or three times last week at Thomas County Central. Stacy Ross says, let's go Cats. Keith Jenkins is watching. Tony Gee is watching. Here we go. Second down and 10. Bainbridge going to run it. And here come the Bulldogs. I tell you, Thomasville's got some size on that line, both sides of the ball. And I tell you, that time, boy, it was a meaty lineman. Angelo Brooks, the senior defensive lineman, leading the way for the Bulldogs there as we get under, or rather five minutes, 25 seconds and counting to go here in the third with Bainbridge leading at 10 to seven. Third down, they lost a yard on that play, so it's third and 11 for the Bearcats. Two receivers to either side, single back. Sanders takes, quick drop, looks, throws. Complete. Going to be complete down there at the 11-yard line, and that's going to be enough to move the chain for a Bainbridge first down. What a nice-looking play that was by the Bearcats. So the Bainbridge Bearcats looks like they're starting to find a little flow with their offense here. And they're moving the ball nicely as we're under five minutes to go in the third. 440, 439, 438. Bainbridge with a new set of downs just outside the 10-yard line. They can get a first down without scoring. Sanders looks, throws, complete. They'll knock him out at the one. 
Well, there wasn't anything wrong with the timing on that, folks. You could see that one develop from up here. He made a nice throw, really nice touch on that one. So now Bainbridge is in business. They've got the momentum going right now. They've got the lead, and they're wanting to try to punch it in and add to it. Remember, Bainbridge uh, trailed in this thing just a couple of minutes ago, 7-3. to three. They lead it 10-7, and they're looking for more. Bainbridge got the big bunch in there now with the ball at the one-yard line, first and goal. It's a touchdown, Bainbridge. Keenan Phillips takes it in from one yard out. Keenan Phillips from a yard out. And that is going to give the Bearcats a 16-7 lead. Going to try to go up by 10 now with the point after attempt. Coming up from Tyre. Nicholas Tyre puts it up. It's good. Your score now, Bainbridge 17, Thomasville 7. 4-16 of the third quarter. And Bainbridge now starting to, well, open this thing up a little bit with a 17-7 lead. Big thanks to Dr. Kevin Collins, Houston Sports Medicine, sponsoring tonight's game. Dr. Kevin Collins' website is kevincollinsmd.com. Visit his website today. Check out the different services that Dr. Kevin Collins offers. kevincollinsmd.com. There's a Houston clinic offered near you or office near you, Thomasville, Tifton, Moultrie, and Valdosta. Guys, Houston clinic been at it a long time, 73rd year of sports medicine. And they can help you out as well. That's Houston Sports Medicine and Dr. Kevin Collins. Terry and Sermons. Adrian Thompson. All right, so Trinity Alexis says, Marquita Guyton, I'm his aunt. He's a freshman, 14 years old. Uh, I guess somebody said something maybe about uh, her her nephew, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, we don't want to be taking uh, too much, taking anybody out of the game. I think that's what she was upset about anyway. Thomasville going to start now. First and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Thomasville now. Listen, they just had the lead. And they just led this thing 7-3. to three. Suddenly, Bainbridge, though, has answered with a couple of touchdowns to lead 17-7. Right up the middle, he goes for five. That's the fullback for Thomasville. Second down, five for Thomasville. Another run, right side, nothing there. That was number 26, Levante Cole, a freshman. Boy, this Thomasville team is young. Both these teams have a lot of underclassmen. Big third down play here for Thomasville. What are they going to do? Thomasville has gone with the freshman, Cam Hill, the whole game here. Third down, we're getting late, 325, 324 to go in the third. Deep draw, like they're trying to set up the screen, complete. And Bainbridge read it really nicely. They came in and snuffed it out, did number 28. I think that's Anthony McKay. McKay. Play results in fourth down. So it's going to bring up a fourth down situation now. Bainbridge has really read these uh, screens really nicely tonight. Terry Copeland is watching. Duncan Smile, what a name. 
All right, so another punting situation. So Thomasville not able to find a whole lot of offense. These last two possessions, they've got to punt it away. Long snap count here. Low snap. He'll get it off. Line drive kick. Taken at his own 47 and made the fair catch there. Did number seven, Keenan Phillips. So that's where Bainbridge is going to put it in play. First and ten, just shy of their own 50, and they lead it 17 to seven. All right, guys, remember, let me get your top performers from the different games tonight. Send them in here to the ITG Next Facebook page, right where you're watching this game. Give me player stats. We're getting an update from Leesburg, 2120. Colquitt County leads that one. Wow. Bainbridge rolls out, throws, complete. Sanders looks like he's heating up a little bit now. He's starting to find his rhythm. Ball going to be complete over the 50. We're under two minutes to go here in the third quarter. Bainbridge with the lead. They got the momentum. And they've got the ball on the Thomasville side of the 50. Going to be a little jet sweep pitch here. Look out. Got a head of steam. Turning the corner. That was Antavius Murphy, the junior. Took the pitch there. Found the corner. Was able to turn the corner. Well, Willie Fulgen says, I'm going to go put on my Bearcat shirt. <laughs> I love it. Katrina Jones checking us out tonight. Here we go now. Bainbridge really taking their time. They're in no hurry here. You can't blame them. Bainbridge, new set of downs, first and 10 inside the Thomasville 25. Big run. Look out. Over the 20, still on his feet, still churning. Taking it to the 20. Derek Bradshaw, shout out to my son, number 24, Bulldogs. Daddy is proud of y'all. So that would be who? Camarius Bradshaw. There you go. Roderick Griffin, class of 96. <laughs> Let's go, Cats. Last game I saw here was when Kirby Smart was playing free safety, guys. And that's when the, the sides were flipped. And we've got whistles. What do we got? False start going to be the call against the Bearcats. Got to be honest with you, we've, we haven't seen many penalties. We got bogged down with penalties in that second quarter, but not too many mistakes on either side with penalties. But there's one for the Bearcats, and it comes with just under a minute to go in the third quarter with Bainbridge leading it 17-7. to And after the penalty, that will spot it back at the 25. So it will be first and 15. Sanders, play action, throws, receiver, open, out there on the side, complete. That's Murphy. Boy, they really got something going now. That's a completed pass. Going to take it for about 13 yards on the play. And going to bring up second down and short. Here we go. Going to be second and short. Wouldn't be surprised maybe to see a play action go to the end zone here. Let's see. Sanders going to take it. No, he'll hand it off. And he'll have the first down, still pushing the ball there. That's Keenan Phillips on the carry. 
Five yard gain on the play. That play brings up another Bearcat. First down. Monte or Monique Monique Bean. Let's go, dog. She's rooting for number 34, I bet. EJ Bean. EJ Bean, number 34. As we have come to the end of the third quarter here at Centennial Field in Bainbridge, Georgia, with your score. The Bearcats, 17, and Thomasville, 7. On the ITG next game of the week. Brought to you again by Dr. Kevin Collins, Houston Sports Medicine. Don't forget, guys, next week we're going to be at East Coweta. We'll be bringing you Lowndes and East Coweta. So be sure to watch us next week as we stay on the road. Got some really good games coming up here in the next couple of weeks. We'll be bringing you Buford and Marietta. So some good games to take in on the ITG next game of the week. Appreciate all you guys checking us out. Brittany Stearman is watching. Fam first stool, he says, let's go Bearcats, number 23 and two. That would be Antavius Murphy and Darius Mills. So here we go, start of the fourth quarter. Bainbridge has got it. Right now, Bearcats are in control. Thomasville needs something. They need some kind of break, need some kind of turnover or something if they want to try to stay in this thing. A Bainbridge score here could put it out of reach. Here we go, snap. Play action. Sanders going to turn around, flip it, throw it. Incomplete. Nice looking play, though. But it goes all for naught. First play of the fourth quarter, an incomplete. Going to bring up second down and nine. Bainbridge at the nine. Well, second and goal, I should say, from the nine. All right, here we go. Second down and goal from the nine. Cam Sanders, the backup to Bo Smith. The injured starter is out. Sanders takes the snap, wants to throw. Going to throw, crossing route, complete on the slant. Complete. Touchdown, Bearcats. Boy, I tell you. I was talking about Cam Sanders earlier not being able to, to connect on the timing. Boy, boy, the timing there was perfect. Did we have a penalty flag? What do we got? Wait a minute. We have an unsportsmanlike conduct call. Now, I think that's going to come after the touchdown. Gets the offense. So that'll come after the touchdown. The touchdown will stay on the board. The penalty will be assessed at the kickoff. Tyre to attempt the extra point for the Bearcats. Bearcats Probably too much celebration there for the Cats, so that's going to be assessed on the kickoff. Here's Nicholas Tyre to try the point after attempt. Here's the snap, the hole, the kick is up, and it is good. 11 minutes, 52 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Right now, Thomasville pulling away. Oh, I'm sorry, Bainbridge pulling away. It's Bainbridge 24, Thomasville 7. As we get ready to tell you more about Dr. Kevin Collins, Houston Sports Medicine. Dr. Collins been with us for a number of games. Appreciate Dr. Collins and his sport, uh, sponsorship. Houston Sports Medicine and Dr. Kevin Collins been treating and taking care of Valdosta State University for 40 years. How about that? 73rd year of sports medicine for Houston Clinic. And guys, we want to tell you all about Dr. Kevin Collins. He was just recently recognized as the Georgia Athletic Training Association Physician of the Year. Kind of tells you the quality of doctor he is. 
If you'd like more information on the different services Dr. Collins provides, be sure to go to his website, kevincollinsmd.com. That's kevincollinsmd.com. Houston Sports Medicine and Dr. Kevin Collins, sponsors of tonight's ITG Next Game of the Week. Dennis Brooks is watching. Rex Carter checking out the game. And whomever, wherever you are, we appreciate you watching us. There's Sierra Derrico watching from Puerto Rico. Wow. Well, you could see that one coming. Big hit there on special teams by the Bearcats and Thomasville now trying to find some offense. Guys, it was just, it seemed like just a few seconds ago, Thomasville was leading this thing seven to three. And boy, that changed in a hurry. As it's 24 to seven, Bainbridge 21 unanswered. What do you guys got on Lee County, Colquitt? Somebody update me. Somebody update me on scores, period. Frizel Crump watching them cats from Houston County. Or is it Houston? Which one is it? A.B. Brown bragging on Dr. Kevin Collins. Said he's a great doctor. He done my ACL. Guys, let me tell you, play a lot of tennis. And when you get older and can't move as quite as well as I used to, but I love to play and went in to see Dr. Kevin Collins, and he made me as good as new. Great doctor. I highly suggest you go see Dr. Kevin Collins. Visit his website, kevincollinsmd.com. Big stop there on the left side by the Bainbridge defense. Okay, so Frizel Crump clarified. Watching from Houston, Texas. Camden beating Best Academy 35 to nothing, start of the third quarter. Guys, want to remind you, you can listen to myself and the head coach of the Camden County Wildcats, Jeff Heron, Camden County Coaches Podcast. You can also listen to myself and Coach Jonathan DeLay every week on the Thomasville Coaches Podcast. We do the coaches podcast with several coaches across the state. You can check out the Gainesville Red Elephant football coaches podcast with myself and coach Josh Niblett. The Lounge High coaches podcast with myself and coach Zach Grage. We talked to uh, Roger Harriet, head coach of the Tom um, St. Thomas Aquinas Raiders out of Fort Lauderdale. You can check out all of these coaches' podcasts, guys, all week long as we have them archived and we have them up on our ITG Next Georgia social media pages. Sean Calhoun and the Colquitt County Coaches Podcast. You can hear that with myself and Coach Sean Calhoun, all these coaches will be talking about these games, including my conversation with Coach Jonathan DeLay on the Thomasville Coaches Podcast right here at ITG Next Georgia, where we bring you the best of what's happening with high school football. Mark Stewart said that was a great job by the Bearcats band. Both the bands looking great. Jump ball down that far sideline. Incomplete at double coverage over there by the Bearcats. It says here, Art Art is watching. Jonathan Smith says, Go Bearcats. Marley Chalel is watching. Going to be a punting situation now for Thomasville. It's a fake. 
Thomasville's going to fake the punt. They're not going to make it. Thomasville went for the fake punt. Punter tried to sell it by trying to jump that like the snap had gone over his head. But all for naught. So Bainbridge now going to take over. Look, you, you can't blame Thomasville. Not being able to find much offense. Coach Jonathan DeLay trying to find something and tries to get the fake punt, and it goes for naught. So here's Bainbridge now. They're in business again. And look out. Throw across the middle. Incomplete. That was Cam Sanders trying to find a receiver across the middle. 10-15 to go in the game. Bainbridge leading it 24-7. Terrence Davis is watching. Steve Brown, April Samuel. Jacqueline Thomas Copeland watching tonight. Bainbridge now second down and 10 from the Thomas Hill 33. Two receivers, far side, one of the near side. Sanders, quick toss out to the receiver, complete. Here comes a host of Bulldogs to knock him down for a loss. Katrina Jones not happy with the referee. Will Jones tells us Colquitt up 24-20 on Lee County, start of the fourth. I bet that is something to watch up there in Leesburg. What do you guys got on uh, Valdosta? And Warner Robbins. Last I heard, it was 19-0 Cats. Surprise indeed for me. Sanders gonna step up, gonna thought he was gonna run it. Now he'll try to throw it. Probably could have ran that thing, but he decided to throw it and it sailed on him incomplete over the receiver's head. Tommy Walker watching us. Thomas D. Antonio is watching. Elise Thomas. What's up, guys? What y'all doing on a Friday night? Watching a little ITG next. So here's Nicholas Tyre in. He's going to punt this one away. He's going to try to pin down Thomasville, I'm sure, deep in their own territory. Standing at the 45 of Bainbridge. We have got a timeout. Thomasville's taking a timeout. 9.21 left to go. Steve Brown says them Bearcats are looking good. <clears throat> Jacob O'Neill is watching us tonight. What do you guys got on the Valdosta game? <clears throat> Jamie Fraley Seeger is watching. What's up, Jamie? <laughs> Zach Miller's watching. Devarius Harrell called him Zell Miller. Love it. Zell Miller, former Georgia governor in the house. <laughs> Brooks County says CeeLo Fulton up on Mitchell, 42 to 12. Swipey Johnson is watching. Terrence Harry, Roderick Thomas says Worm is watching. Cairo leads Godby, 28 to 6. CeeLo Fulton says Valdos still up 19 0. All right, here we go, coming out of the timeout now. Bainbridge in punt formation. So Thomasville was going to come after that thing. Fair catch called for and made right at the uh, – it's like they're going to spot it at the 13. So that's where – so Thomasville had called a timeout. They wanted to come after that punt. <clears throat> they did. Bainbridge saw what was going on. 
So Nicholas Tyre did the quick kick and was able to get it away. <clears throat> Jonathan Smith says, Syrup Makers beating Godby. Pierce County's up 38-6 on Liberty in the third. Give me Liberty or give me Pierce County. <laughs> what do you guys got on that uh, Cook clinch game? Quarterback sack back near the goal line. Thomasville struggling here now. So we got Cook leading the Clinch County Panthers 21 13. Valdos is still up on Warner Robins 19 to nothing. That's in the third at McConnell Talbert. Second down and a mile for Thomasville. Snap. Hill just going to launch it long. Got a man open. Throw a bomb right on the money. What a great looking throw from the freshman Cam Hill. They just hit a long bomb on the Bearcats. And some good fortune there for Thomasville. That's going to give them a first down at the 45. Pass play there of about 39 yards. First and 10, Thomasville to see if they can keep it going. Going to launch another one. Overshot would be receiver, incomplete. Jeff Littleton is calling for an offensive pass interference. Littleton down here on this near sideline was hot. Not going to get it. All right, here's second down now. I suspect Thomasville to keep throwing it here. Short toss, complete. They'll spot him, though, where his forward progress is, up at the 50. And that'll give him a third down and about six. Will Palmer says short passes, coach. Patrick Preston says 21-13, Cook. Andy Basquette is watching. Rich Prinko is watching. All right, third down. Hill going to throw. Intercepted. Intercepted. Here's Bainbridge taking it back. I don't think can anybody get him. No, he's gone. It's a pick six. And that is probably going to seal the deal. Broadnax intercepted it at about the 35. He's going to take it back 65 yards for the touchdown. Dontavius Broadnax has put Bainbridge up 30 to 7. Like I said, seemed like 30 minutes ago, Thomasville led in this thing 7 to 3. Can you believe that? But now we've got Bainbridge. It's been all Bainbridge in the second half as Tyre is going to knock this one through. And that might put this thing out of reach. Your score. John Broadnack says, that's my nephew. I hear you, dog. Your score, 31 to 7. It's all Bainbridge right now. ITG next game of the week. Let's talk about Dr. Kevin Collins in Houston Sports Medicine. Great doctor. We've had some of you talk about him here tonight. I can personally attest to him. Houston Sports Medicine and Dr. Kevin Collins, Houston Clinic, 73rd year sports medicine. Houston Clinic, South Georgia offices are located in Thomasville, Tifton, Moultrie, and Valdosta. And Dr. Kevin Collins was just recently recognized 
as the Georgia Athletic Training Association Physician of the Year. Well deserved. If you'd like more information on the different services that Dr. Collins provides, go to his website. Real easy to remember, KevinCollinsMD.com. KevinCollinsMD.com. Dr. Kevin Collins, Houston Sports Medicine sponsors of tonight's ITG Next Game of the Week, Bainbridge and Thomasville. Jeff Dasher, Thomas County Central has defeated Charles 42-13. That's gone final. So is it Tiffany Deason or Deason Tiffany? Says my nephew, go Cats. Patrick Preston says two is gone. Or is it two gone? Don't forget, next week, we are going to be bringing you Lowndes High Vikings at East Coweta. Lowndes off this week. East Coweta playing Sandy Creek. See if we can get you a score on Sandy Creek, East Coweta. That's where we'll be, though, bringing you East Coweta Lowndes next week. That's going to be a good one. Here's Thomasville now. Going to try to get something going here offensively. Short pass, far side, will fall incomplete. Renee Brisk is watching tonight. Van Scott watching tonight. Second down, 10. 7.05 left to go in the game. He'll going to throw it long downfield. Nobody there incomplete. We got a penalty flag on that far side. Let's check that. Alexander Smith Jr. is watching from Statesboro. <laughs> Deason Tiffany says, I'm married to one of the original Broadnax boys. Are you Tiffany Deason or Deason Tiffany? I get that one right. Juanita Glenn. Brandon Lovejoy is watching from Tulsa. I love it. Patrick Preston gives us 17-14 early county at half. Terrence Carter says go Cats. Is that DeCarter? Williams. On the stop for the Bearcats. DeCarter's watching. Terrence DeCarter. Mike, thanks for the kind words, brother. Appreciate that, man. Mike Sorensen says, great job, Phil. Enjoyed the call of the game. Thank you, Michael. Hope to see you back next week, buddy. Really do. Michael's an old friend. Michael Sorensen had one of the best arms I've ever seen with a baseball player. That's for sure. <laughs> he can sling it, man. Ricky Blaylock Jr. is watching. Man, man is watching from Thompson, Georgia. Go Bulldogs. Patrick Preston, East Coweta. You got something on that East Coweta, Sandy Creek? Wilbur Williams watching. Now, I knew a Rick Blaylock. <laughs> Decent Tiffany says either way is fine. I got to imagine you're Tiffany Decent. I'm going to guess. Jaleesa Scott is watching. Amonte Washington is watching. Davion Baynard is watching. Bainbridge. Almost comes down with the interception. Patrick Preston says, yeah. Uh, East Coweta up 17-14 at the half. That's a good one. Boy, watch that game next week, especially if East Coweta wins. East Coweta lounge, that will be a good one. So check this out. Cedar Grove up 
No, 33-3 over Collins Hill. Wow. I, I got to tell you guys, I, I cannot figure out Collins Hill. I predicted before the season started that they would not do much of anything. They get beat 31 to nothing in that scrimmage against North Cobb, and you're thinking, okay, Phil, you're probably going to be right. Well, lo and behold, Collins Hill comes out and looks pretty darn good. Here's the punt now. What well, a good punt. Okay, Ricky Blaylock says he's watching from, uh, or he's in Peach County. I got you, Ricky. Thanks so much for that, buddy. But I just cannot, I can't figure out this Collins Hill team, guys. I got to tell you. And I know Cedar Grove's good. Don't get me wrong. I predicted Cedar Grove to win. By the way, every week I do a pick six. You guys can, uh, can see it right here as part of our newsletter. If you guys aren't subscribing to our newsletter, guys, you can go here online and you'll see uh, on our newsletter, you can subscribe to it and it'll come to your email inbox twice a week. We we'll give you the best in what's happening in Georgia sports, Georgia high school football here at ITG Next Georgia's Facebook page. Subscribe to our newsletter today. Stephen Tate, my buddy, says, Bamer's looking good tonight. They are, Stephen. Stephen, is coffee off tonight? Amonte Washington says, put two-time state champion Amonte Washington next time. <laughs> Daniel, Daniel McCoy says, great game, Bainbridge Bull, uh, Bainbridge. Says the Bulldogs still going to represent and show love. I hear you, and I agree with that. Look, this is a rebuilding year. Zach Grage goes from Thomasville to Lowndes. You've got Jonathan DeLay, who's a very capable coach, taking over. But, guys, they lost a lot. I mean, you had Ricky Fulton transferred to Central. And, you know, you just had a lot of those players that led them to the state championship that graduated and – all programs will go through this. But I can promise you, Thomasville will be back. This is going to be a good win for Bainbridge. Sam McCord is watching. What's up, Sam? There's Keenan Phillips right side. Big run by Keenan Phillips. He's the junior running back. Going to give Bainbridge another first down. We're under five minutes to go in the game. Brenda Shaw Peacock says, yeah, there is a Ricky Blaylock. Thomas, uh, Thomasville High School, class of 72, my classmate. Now, the Rick Blaylock I was talking about was out of Tiff County. One of the best athletes I've ever seen. Here's Bainbridge, first down. Hand off left side, going to run into a wall of Thomasville Bulldogs there. Demarius Bradshaw on the stop for the Bulldogs. Sherry Copeland is watching. Yeah, Landon, uh, London Young making a, uh, a really good point. Got a freshman quarterback and a sophomore running back. That's a good point. You're you got you're in a rebuilding year, and Coach Jonathan Delay realizes that hey, I'm going to groom my young freshman quarterback Cam Hill. He'll have to take his lumps this year. That's what's happening, guys. That's what you have to do. Quick toss, great coverage over here. Able to knock down the receiver right away. That's a great play over here on this near corner. For the We're 31-7 to seven here at Centennial Field in Bainbridge. 3-18, 3-17, clock continues to run. Bainbridge with a third down and six needed for the first. Jimmy Patterson is watching. Uh, uh, is watching. Love the names. 
I have not seen Fashawn Pride in a while. Little handoff left side, nothing there. Oh, actually, I'm sorry, it is something there as a first down. I was looking at my screen here of the everybody watching. Lauren Montgomery, registered nurse, is watching. Just running out this clock now, guys. We're under three minutes. We're actually 2.22, 2.21. Left to go in the game. Bainbridge may try to score another one. Let's see. Running play near side. They'll drive him out of bounds. They'll stop the clock. Two minutes, three seconds left in the game. Jamal Smith Sr. is watching. So, uh uh, is that Mr. or Mrs. uh uh watching? Robert Clary, where did those 28 points come from? Just like that. Cassandra Wimes is watching. Two minutes to go in the game. Keenan Phillips has been a workhorse for the Bearcats tonight. Bainbridge going to go to two and two on the year. <clears throat> Thomasville going to fall to one and three. Next week, Thomasville will be hosting Tiff County at the Vet. Bainbridge going to be at Brooks County. That'll be a good one. We will be, ITG Next will be, at East Coweta, bringing you Lowndes High and East Coweta. Crisp County, Von West giving us an update on Crisp County, up 10 nothing over America Sumter. Tell you what, give America Sumter and Coach Fed credit. He had a heck of a job to do up there with the Panthers, and he's doing a good job even though they're down 10 to nothing. But that's not bad against Crisp. Keith McCullen, Mike Turner, Antoine Oliver, as we're doing a minute left. One minute. Bainbridge content to run the clock. Can you believe this game? This game was 7-3 to three at one point with Thomasville winning. Bainbridge scored 28 unanswered. Chris Seller says, I love this time of year. Yeah, you got <laughs> Friday Night Football. Then you get to watch the Braves. The Braves playing on, uh, on the West Coast in Seattle tonight. Probably listen to that on the way home. Let's see. Bainbridge may snap it one more time. They've got 10 seconds. And I think they're going to let it run out. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. That's going to do it. Your final score from Centennial Field in Bainbridge, the home of the Bearcats. It was a very hospitable home tonight for Bainbridge as they win it 31-7, to seven, your final score. Well, they didn't waste any time taking the score off the clock. Normally, if the home team wins, you leave it up there a little while. Man, they just took it off in a hurry. I'm glad I looked up there. <laughs> Love it. All right, guys, again, your final score tonight from Centennial Field, 31-7. to Thomasville actually led in this game 7-3, to and then Bainbridge turned it on, put up, uh, put up 28 unanswered points to pull away and win it 31-7. Bainbridge goes to 2-2 two two on the year. Thomasville falls to 1-3 on the year. Don't forget, we will be back with you next Friday, bringing you 7A football. East Coweta hosting the Lowndes Eye Vikings. We'll have it for you next week right here on ITG Next. Want to give a final shout out.
to our sponsor tonight, Houston Sports Medicine and Dr. Kevin Collins. Remember, this is Houston Clinic's 73rd year in sports medicine. It's also Houston Clinic's 40th year of taking care of Valdosta State University. Chances are there's a Houston Clinic South Georgia office near you in Thomasville, Tifton, Moultrie, and Valdosta. Dr. Kevin Collins was just recently recognized as the Georgia Athletic Training Association Physician of the Year. If you'd like more information on the different services Dr. Collins provides, visit his website today at kevincollinsmd.com. That's kevincollinsmd.com. For Chris Fletcher, I'm Phil Jones saying we'll see you next week from East Coweta, bringing you Lowndes High and East Coweta. Until then, have a great weekend and a great week, everybody. Don't forget, Monday night, 5 o'clock, right here. If you love high school football, check out my live show, Extra Point with Phil Jones. I host it every Monday and Tuesday night, 5 o'clock to 6 o'clock. We talk high school football, and I engage with you guys just like I do here. Be sure to check it out, 5 o'clock. Till 6 o'clock, Monday and Tuesday, Extra Point with Phil Jones, right here at ITG Next Georgia. Thank you guys for the kind words, Gerald Carter. See you guys on Monday, Extra Point with Phil Jones.